welcome to Side Joy, where today we're going to play the game The Floor is Lava. We have to jump from one object to the next without touching the ground because, well, it's made of lava. But we're going to take it up a notch. We're going to electrify the ground. When you put on your foil shoe and start hopping around in the electrified lava, you're going to become part of a circuit, so you should probably know what one is. This is an example of a simple light circuit. The battery powers the light, and if just one side of the light is hooked up, it is called an open circuit and it will not turn on. Electricity only likes to travel in closed circuits, which is when there is a complete path to and from a power source. If we have a closed circuit, the light will always be on, unless we clip and unclip it. We need to add a switch, which is a simple way for us to control whether the circuit is opened or closed, and therefore on or off. And with this understanding, we can electrify our floor. The lava will be made of a metal mesh because metal is a conductor and allows electricity to flow easily through it. The safe areas will be cardboard because cardboard is an insulator and resists the flow of electricity. The point of the game is not to have your foot touch the floor. So we can build a circuit that will notify us every time our foot leaves the cardboard and hits the wire mesh. We can do this through the use of a buzzer and a battery. One end of an alligator clip will attach to the wire mesh. The other end will lead to the negative side of the battery. The positive side of the battery is going to be attached to the positive side of the speakers. Make sure the ends of your alligator clips don't touch. The negative end of the speaker will be attached to an aluminum foil covered shoe. Because while humans are conductive, we're not conductive enough for this low powered circuit. The electrified lava game is just one of many that we can create with that one simple circuit. We can also make a tabletop version of the game. All you need is a box lid, and you can draw a figure on there, any figure that you want. I chose a rocket ship. It should be something a little bit wider, because inside of it you're going to need to draw some shapes. Triangles and squares are going to be the easiest ones for us to use. You need to cut out these shapes, and then flip over the box top and fill it with glue. And then you're going to glue a sheet of aluminum foil to the back of it. This is going to be much like the wire mesh that we had on the floor. Now you need to carefully cut the aluminum foil so you're able to wrap it around the edges of the shapes that you previously cut out. You can create pockets by cutting out strips of paper, folding them, and then taping them to the back side of the box. Then all you need to do is hook up your circuit. The tweezers would act as your foot and the metal sheet on the back would act as the mesh of the floor. There are so many other games that you can make with this simple circuit. If you create anything, please tag it with SciJoy and Electrified Lava on YouTube, Twitter, or Tumblr. There's an Amazon shopping list in the description if you need it. And thank you for watching this episode, and remember, keep exploring. So originally I was like, I'm going to make a giant obstacle course, it's going to be made of mesh, I'm going to crawl through it, I'm going to have to make a suit out of aluminum foil, it's going to be awesome. And then I realized I needed a tether wherever I moved. Hashtag astronaut problems.